Good evening, everybody. Welcome to uh, Dunamore, uh, Ashburn, home ground here in Ashburn for the second round of the Junior uh, Premier Championship, Trim v Dunamore Ashburn. And um, we'll go through the teams in a minute. Uh, Dunamore Ashburn on the attack with uh, number 11 there for them is uh, Luke Wilson. But it's very well read there by Declan Dowling, who's playing a cornerback again. Gives it off to David Murphy, but it goes out over the sideline for sideline ball. First one of the game to Dunamore Ashburn. Um, we'll go through both teams when we get a minute. Um, so Dunamore Ashburn playing out from behind here, goes there towards David Carr, wing back, and he pulls Paul Munley's shirt, who gives a lovely ball in towards Mikey Cole. Mikey gathers, lovely play by Mikey, goes, goes around his man, gives it off there to Mark Murray, back to Mikey Cole. Mikey has a shot at goal, but it's gone wide for um, Trim's first wide of the game, uh, and um, we have about two minutes played. Um, so Dunamore Ashburn will kick out with keeper Sean Hogan. Um, Sorry, we're just trying to work up their team again. So, uh, one there at wing back for Trim by Kieran Caulfield, who's making his um, senior debut for Trim at adult level. Gives a ball in there towards Shawnee Foley, who doesn't win that occasion. It's won by Aaron McLaughlin, and it's feed it out the field there towards another wing back, and it's back towards centre back Shane Ray, who gives it off to lively centre forward Luke Wilson. Uh, Luke in his own half carries the ball on through Mark Murray is chasing his play inside the half forward for Trim gives a little ball in there towards full forward but Brian Bulger cuts it out and gives it off to midfielder Patchy Quigley Patchy gives it off there to Josh Harris and Josh hits a lazy old ball in but it goes towards Darrell Field who's on the attack Trim on the attack here 14 metres out Darrell's going to his weak side his left he'll cut back to his right still going Darrell dispossessed gives it back out and it's won there by uh, number 10 Dara O'Sullivan for um, Dunamore Ashburn so they're on the way out again and it's still with uh, Darren O'Sullivan goes out there there's some uh, we'll get his name in a minute I think he's Sean Byrne wearing number 30 gives a uh, neat little ball out there towards the corner forward number 15 uh, James Crumlish um, we're still writing down the um, Dunamore team as we speak so trim on the attack again here with Patchy Quigley Patchy looks up, toe taps, uh, has been tackled there by number 30, Sean Byrne for Dunamore Ashburn, gives it back to Brian Bulger, who's back for trim from injury tonight, Brian is fouled and gives a tasty little ball there to centre forward Mark Murray, Mark has uh, Kieran Caulfield available to him, Kieran with the left foot gives a lovely ball there towards Shawnee Foley, Shawnee out in front again, trim looking sharp here, if we can get a score, Shawnee held up back there towards Kieran Caulfield, Caulfield back to Munners. Paul Munley on the ball here, 50 yards from the Ashburn goal, gives it to Mark Murray, he should give it back to Munners, which he does, Munners might have a shot from here, it's against a slight breeze, Munners 30 yards in goal onto his left foot, off there, the weakish ball there towards Danny Coleman, Danny still fighting hard for it, uh, and it's won there, and it's the first free of the game to Dunamore Ashburn, uh, referee Pat Clark gives the first free of the game to Dunamore Ashburn, uh, Keen O'Rourke has the ball, uh, plays a nice ball out here towards who have we number five who's David Carr he's going to be tackled by Paul Munley gives that ball on there to 15 15 is James Crumlish Crumlish on there towards number 10 is Darrow Sullivan who takes a left footed shot for a wide for Dunamore Ashburn their first wide of the game um, we're just still writing down the um, Dunamore Ashburn team but we'll get to it in a minute um, Sean Byrne number 30 is playing midfield from what we can gather uh, and um, so kick out from goalkeeper Peter Brennan down a brick, re really good kick out but it's one there at centre half back by uh, Shane Ray for um, Dunmore Ashburn really well tackled back by Mark Murray and it gets to Kev Lennon Kev Lennon onto James Murray onto Decky Dowling Decky corner back plays a lot down the field still Decky going gives it off to Patchy Quigley playing centre field Patchy gives it in there towards Shawnee Foley Shawnee wins this one and cuts inside his man Shawnee is 21 yards out Danny Coleman's available he gives it to him Danny on the left side back there to Mikey Cole Mikey will have a shot with the left uh, and it's dropped into the keeper's hands uh, keeper uh, Sean Mo Hogan for Dunamore Ashburn out to here now to David Carr wing back for Dunamore Ashburn Ashburn on the attack uh, nice tackle again by Munners but who's still held in possession there by number 5 David Carr 
who finds um, out here is towards James Crumlish again who's getting on a bit of ball Crumlish is Decky Mur- uh, Dowling's man Decky just doesn't follow on there uh, Crumlish still goes through 21 yards out gives it inside little ball there to 13 but it's won there by um, by Peter Brennan and Peter gives it a nice ball out to Decky Dowling Decky on the ball gives it off to James Murray Philo is with him if he wants him da- um, James carries the ball quite a bit through halfway gives it on there to Darrell Field could give it back to James yes he does James now is 30 yards from goal James turns to his better side to the right he's somewhat foul but no free still James in possession James gives a lovely ball there to Philo Philo is 14 yards out into Sean Foley should get it back needs to go on his right foot this is the first score of the game oh score point for Trim Darrell Phelan um, with the point from play nearly could have went for a major sorry Mardy commentator tonight Morris Power sorry Morris I wasn't in touch with you sorry uh, no problem CJ it's, uh, it's been a hectic enough start to the game there uh, good open game that's surprising it's taken so long for the first score um, but uh be interesting to see if they can keep going in this heat now it's a uh, fair intensity to start with another ball into Josh Harris here Josh on the ball inside the 14 yard line turns to the right foot gives across the goal to Danny Coleman Danny went with the hands um, oh Dunmore Ashburn back in possession. Um, number 15, Jack Crumlish, is a good bit from his goal and it gives it off there to centre forward Luke Wilson. Luke takes it through the halfway line, comes towards his marker, Darrell Phelan. The man free here on the right hand side is Luke Bennett. Nobody picking him up. Luke Bennett through the middle can ch- and he's found. Uh, 14 yards out onto his left, shoots. Wide ball for Luke Bennett uh, for Dunmore Ashburn's second one and Luke's first. Luke uh, ran the whole way up there. Nice run from the wing back, Maudie. Yeah, I was uh, I was looking up the match report from the first game, which was a high scoring draw. Wolf Tones, both Wolf or both uh, wing backs for Ashburn scored a couple of points that night, so it'll probably be a feature of the night that the two of them will uh, get forward here this evening. But uh, bad miss. Peter Brennan kicks long again. It goes through the wing back, and Danny Coleman's on it. But Shane Ray, who's had a, an impressive start of the game for Dunham Ashburn, gives it off to midfielder Sean Byrne, who's wearing uh, number 30 on his back. Gives it forward there towards Crumlish, who's been on the first few balls, marked by Decky Dowling. I'd say Decky's feeling the heat a bit tonight. Uh, number five for Dunham Ashburn, David Carr. He gives it off there in towards. Uh, is it uh, centre forward yes it's centre forward Luke Wilson Luke still on the ball gives it to the big man back to Luke Wilson Luke's inside the 14 tackled by Brian Bulger over carries is Pat Clark free out to trim nice tackle there by Brian Bulger and um, Peter Brennan will take the free out so um, lively start by both teams but um, still trim one point on a more Ashburn no score and uh, David Murta gets in the ball from a pass David takes it down towards the 50 yard line looks up gives a grand ball down the wing there towards Josh Harris Josh wins it lovely on the 21 Josh breaks through Josh is through here he's 14 yards out can he score Josh saved back of the net great score Mikey Cole um, good score by Mikey um, to make that 1-1 uh, to no score nice ball played out there towards uh, Josh Harris who took it through and uh, he should have finished but Mikey followed up Molly yeah great ball by uh, David Murta and Josh who's looked lively there from corner forward took it very well took on his man drove at him and as you said should have finished it himself but, but Mikey did what uh, all poachers do and finished, it, finished up the rebound so a nice start by Trim 1-2 to uh, no score ahead uh, Dunamore Ashburn on the attack again gives it in there towards full back 14 but, and he's won it uh, ahead of Brian Bulger this is true to uh, who have we now we have Crumlish on the ball again uh, number 15 out comes David Murchie should come for this 13 is out gives it back to Crumlish Crumlish is in with the left great save by Peter Brennan Kev Nally gathers and is fouled for a free out so first real attack there 13 for Ashburn had a chance of a um, of a goal but uh, it was very well saved by Peter Brennan so Patchy Quigley's on the ball here for Trim in their own half gives it off to Danny Coleman who's made a nice lively start this is on there towards Kieran Caulfield Caulfield he is great pace Caulfield predominantly left foot it gives a lovely punt of ball in towards Mikey Cole Cole out ahead of his marker again has started the game very lively 14 yards out nicely tackled though by uh, Aaron McLaughlin and that comes back there to but it's a wide ball by Sean Foley at corner forward so Shawnee's um, first wide trims second wide trims still 1-1 to no score ahead 
Uh, Ashburn with the ball out again out here towards Sean Byrne at the middle of the field and this centre half back Shane Ray who likes to attack is coming up uh, with number 7 here Luke Bennett back there to Sean Byrne in the middle of the field again Sean will find number 10 Dara O'Sullivan out here Dara been marked uh, now by Mark Murray back there to centre back Shane Ray going somewhat across the field at the minute. Now they're making a bit of potency down the middle, but it's back with uh, Luke Wilson who turns around again for Shane Ray, who looks very comfortable in the ball. There's a high ball into a big man, full forward. Full forward back to Shane Ray, centre back. Nicely tackled by Kieran Coffey, back to the full forward. Rory, uh, Rory McCarran, I think his name is, but we'll find out in a second. Uh, full forward is Rory McCann actually so trim fouled again and gives it out here to Daryl Field and Daryl takes it on and gives it to James Murray James grand cross field ball there towards Munners will he win it allows it go there to um, Mikey Cole who's made a really lively start gives it out there a little bit far out the wing to uh, Josh Harris Josh is 21 yards out gives it back to Munners has Mikey Cole available if he wants him finds Josh again Josh is through again oh good save by the keeper uh, Josh had another chance he was pulled back and play continues on Trim should be another goal up uh, Josh was clean through again so Dunamore Ashburn back out again towards uh, Sean Byrne in the middle of the field here comes Aaron McLaughlin corner back coming up the field he's tackled there by uh, Mark Murray uh, number 11 here Luke Wilson's on the ball gives it back again uh, centre back Shane Ray is available in the middle and he gets it uh, Shane Ray who's playing well for Dunmore Ashburn Sean Foley's closest marker still around the middle of the field off there to number 12 Kevin uh, Kevin Keelan uh, and it goes on through Kevin is still on the ball Kevin Alley tackling him uh, Kevin is still on the ball takes a right footed shot that could be Dunmore Ashburn's first of the game yes it is uh, it's, it's Kevin Fenton actually Kevin, I can't read my own handwriting Kevin Fenton who scores the first point of the game for Dunham or Ashburn to make the score 1-1 to a point with uh, about uh, 10 minutes gone uh, even enough Marty we should have been in for two goals yeah we definitely should have been I suppose Peter Brennan has made a good save there as well but that's a, that's a good score by Kevin Fenton there um, but already I, I can hear lads panting from here and we're nearly panting ourselves here CJ it's warm it's a warm evening and most of these lads had a game a tough game on Wednesday evening well tough for about 40 minutes so trim on the attack again towards Shawnee Foley who should be very fresh Shawnee toe taps on the right tries a dummy goes by his man is he fouled he kind of was Shawnee's still in the body's fouled uh, and we need a left footer from this side maybe Kieran Coffey will have a crack quick ball in there towards Josh Harris Josh has it again gives it back there to Mikey Cole Mikey fumbles still in the ball soccer style doesn't get through is he fouled no Aaron McLaughlin number two for Dunham Ashcombe comes out with the ball Trimmer looking for goals a bit early we should be taking points seven moves on the ball here towards number ten uh, Darrow Sullivan Darrow Sullivan centre back going on again is Luke Wilson Luke continues on Luke back to Darren O'Sullivan or wing back oh nice nice score there from number five David Carr who attacked um, and it is now Trim one uh, one Dunamore Ashburn two points uh, number five uh, David Carr seems to have moved out to the middle of the field he's marking James Murray uh, and Peter Brennan goes long again towards James James should feel this one yes he does drops it but feels it well on to James again James looking down the wing there towards Josh Harris Josh ball cut out almost there by Jack Giles Josh has it again Trimmer very potent on the attack in towards Shawnee Foley he's marked by Aaron uh, Sullivan Shawnee Foley chips up he's coming across the, can he, he should give it out Shawnee turns on his right and scores uh, <laughs> Trimmer like a goal fest they want to put this match away pretty early Morris yeah there's a, there is joy to be had there with uh, with Mikey and Josh and Sean full forward line they, they all seem to have the beating at the man and and you can see already Kieran Caulfield has played a few balls with the foot and so has James Murray uh, is that Fergal Lynch harking back to a, an, an old school style of football with the kick pass yeah I see director of junior football Loman Dempsey is watching from beyond <laughs> <laughs> from somewhere around the world brilliant catch by Kieran Caulfield at wing back great to see Kieran in the red shirt again Kieran gives a lovely ball there towards Josh Harris but it's nicely there cut out by Keane O'Rourke 
um, and uh, impressive uh, centre back Shane Ray has the ball gives it back out but it's taken there by Kev Nally Trim's body language a good bit better than Dunamore Ashburns here's Mark Murray on the ball back there towards Patchy Quigley who should recycle out over there towards Kieran again Kieran cuts inside is tagged and pulled and it's a free he should punt this ball quickly um, Kieran's still in the ball Mark Murray is free Paul Munners is free Kieran gives it down the wing again there towards Josh Harris who's way ahead of number four Keane O'Rourke every time the trim forward line have full forward line but that's a bad ball by Josh cut out by centre back Shane Ray Shane on the attack again is lovely tackle by Josh as he foul him um, just about foul him was a good enough tackle but uh, number five here David Carr comes out for um, Dunamore Ashburn passes it on to the big man there middle of the field he looks in for James Gr- uh, Crumlish who has it Crumlish tackles on over carried again this is Pat Clark Trimmer lucky enough there I think Jesus the man was clean through I don't know I'm not sure about that one Morris no he's, he's actually after giving two over carrying calls to Trim that uh, I was wincing a bit when he blew the whistle uh, but yeah we're, we're cut open there uh, Crumlish looks one of the, the main lads for uh, Ashburn there looks very sharp and getting on the ball a lot uh, I think Danny Coleman has come back there to Mark Crumlish uh, so the ball goes in there to this big full forward it's well gathered there by Brian Brian Bulger Brian gives it to Patchy Quigley Patchy Quigley all loose ball but it finds Daryl Phelan Daryl on the ball lovely kick by Daryl straight down the middle of Mark Murray who should just pop it on to one of the full forwards who are very lively he takes on his man don't lose it Mark Mark gives it just back to Decky Dowling Decky on the ball Decky takes it on through the tackle gives a lovely ball across towards David Murta can he make it he does make it. He needs to bring it back outside there towards Mikey Cole. And it's a wide ball for Trim. Um, for Trim's third of the game. Um, and uh, so the score remains uh, 2-1 for Trim. Two points for Dunamore Ashburn. And that is the first water break of the game after 16 minutes. So, um, Morris, a very hot evening for a game, isn't it? Absolutely, CJ. And uh, the way this game has started now... <coughs> Final score here could be anything. There's, I think we've had eight to ten goal chances already on, bo- on both teams. Uh, Ashburn have a good save for Peter Brennan. Um, they were pulled up for over carrying there for one. We have two already, and good save from Josh. Uh, Daryl had a goal chance, he t- took the point instead. Um, so, yeah, uh, it could be a goal fest here tonight. I think uh, Ashburn's first game, they drew it with Stones, I was saying it was 5 10 to 3 16. So, they're playing an open style of football but uh, this would be a good test for Trim uh, as I was saying to you off camera when I arrived just before throwing <laughs> that uh, Ashburn are defending champions in this and uh, well before the regrading of, th- of the second teams this team is essentially an intermediate team that, that Trim are playing here tonight so it should be a really good test for our lads OK so you probably Morris I think you can see some laboured limbs especially on a hot evening and especially after playing a long hard match on Wednesday night I think Decky Dowling has struggled a little bit with, with a little injury but uh, we have lads back that uh, like Brian Bulger's back at full back uh, Shawnee Foley hasn't played that much Kieran Caulfield is fresh from his inter-county uh, and he came on against Dublin last night um, but the full forward line I think have the beaten of their men if uh, we can pop it in there quite quickly yeah, absolutely. We, we we mentioned that already. That uh, you know the ball into to to Mikey to Sean and to Josh. They seem to be out in front of their men winning it. Uh, by the same token, we look a bit open through the middle, and, and Ashburn have, have worked the ball through, but as yet to bear fruit. Um, yeah, as you're saying, Kieran Caulfield. Uh, obviously, uh, everyone has high hopes from. He's a he's a had managed to myself a, a minor for a couple of years. Extremely talented young man. Great attitude. Works hard. And uh, I suppose a great achievement to play under 20 while he was still minor. I know there was a couple of them involved last night, and by all accounts, made a bit of an impact when he came on last night. Um, so, it's, yeah, his first adult appearance for Trim uh, is tonight. Hopefully, it all goes well for him. Yeah, please God, the start of a, a long uh, club career. So, Trim, uh, we didn't give you the line out. There are actually a few positional changes since the match started. I see now that. Um, Brian Bulger is full back as he has been. Danny Coleman has come back at corner back. Decky, Decky Dowling has gone up to a less arduous position of a wing forward. Uh, Kieran Caulfield is wing right half back. Daryl Field is centre half back, and Kev Nally is left half back. David Murta lines out two right half back. It's a 
match three starts with a kick out for Dunhamore Ashburn um, and we'll retime this 15 minutes so uh, Ashburn on there to Darrow Sullivan number 10 for Ashburn gives it on down the wing there towards the impressive James Crumlish Crumlish ahead of Danny Coleman gives it back there and the ball is kicked in but it's very well cut out there by Sean Foley who's somewhat back in his half back line here's Daryl Phelan coming with the ball Daryl runs into a bit of trouble should flick it off there Philo still on the ball plenty of options gives it there down the middle towards uh, Munners Paul Munley Paul recycles back to James uh, Josh ha or Mikey Cole is way free and he's well ahead of his man 40 yards from goals Mikey looks back again towards Mark Murray who started off centre forward here's Mikey Cole back now to Danny Coleman or sorry to Patchy Quigley Patchy uh, gives a high ball towards James Murray who's cut inside the centre half back he's a lot uh, taller than Shane Ray so James is uh, on the 14 yard line recycles it back out towards Mark Murray Mark Murray has Mikey Cole Mikey Cole gives it towards Munners Paul Munley bursts through 25 yards out is fouled and uh, this is a scoreable free for Trim the first of the game uh, it's about 30 yards from the um, from the Dunhamore Ashburn goal and I think James Murray is stepping up to take the free uh, and he'll take it out of his hands 30 yards out for Trim's first scoreable free of the game uh, and there's one minute played of the thir second quarter, James with the kick over the bar for Trim so James is first point from a free uh, and Trim lead now by 2-2 two, two to 2 points, 6 points ahead uh, with uh, 16 and a half minutes gone and uh, Sean Sean Hogan kicks the ball out for Dunhamore Ashburn towards midfielder wearing 30 Sean Byrne who's fouled by Patchy Quigley Sean Byrne gives a little ball there towards James Crumlish who looks dangerous when he's on it Munners grabs again uh, Patchy Quigley steps in Patchy goes round his man doing nicely Patchy oh but it gives a poor ball as I say towards Shane Ray who finds number 13 who's all alone Danny Deary Danny right footed long hair back in there towards uh, 12 who is um Kevin Fenlon again, Kevin with the left foot looking for a second of the game, scores as well, Kevin's second score um, to leave it uh, trim 2-2, two -two. Dunhamore Ashburn 3 points and a um, little bit loose at the back there Maud, I suppose it is a hot evening Yeah, no, I think if Kevin had missed that he, he would have been open to criticism for his teammates, he was under a bit of pressure but it was came from a, a loose foot pass from, from Patchy Quigley, uh, turned over and they broke, again I think given the previous 15 minutes if you just let it into the three boys inside and let them fight for it, we might get some, some joy there. So, a loose ball out by um, uh, Kevin Alley, but it found, finds Kieran Caulfield. Kieran, great pace about him. Switches onto his favourite left foot. Looks up, gives a simple ball there. Mikey Cole's way out in front of his man every time. Mikey, little punted ball in there towards Shawnee Foley. Shawnee might have a crack here. Shawnee's 21 yards out, that looks like. It's over the bar. Great score by Trim. Uh, for Shawnee Foley's second score of the game and uh, nice work there nice play by Kieran Coffey Mikey calls out in front of his man every time yeah Mikey's looking very sharp uh, well played by Kieran as well picked up the loose ball but as I said uh, there is a lot of hay to be made by the boys in full forward line there it's good mark by Munners Munners gives in to Shawnee Foley way ahead of his man again touches it soccer style but is one there back by a corner back who gives it out there to Aaron McLaughlin um, McLaughlin on there to uh, Number five who's playing midfield who is David Carr who gives it off there and here comes Sean Byrne in the middle of the field wearing 30. Uh, back there it's towards uh, Shane Ray again who's on the move again towards centre forward there Luke Wilson or to wing forward Darrow Sullivan who has a shot from about 40 yards way out. Darrow's uh, first or second wide of the game and Dunhamore Ashburn's third, three wides each. Uh, Peter Brennan with the kick out Peter is a very good long kick hasn't he um, Maudie it goes and it's like we're playing against a small breeze but he's launching at 60-70 yards yeah very good it's something he's worked hard on for the last couple of years um, that's definitely uh, one of his strongest assets is a kick out now uh, man down here is Paul Munley uh, looks like his knee um, it was a little surprising that you know such an open game we have only had Eight scores today, two, three to three points. Um, yeah, Munners looks in a bit of pain here. Of course, we'll uh, best wishes to, to James Cullen who who underwent a serious operation there. Uh, was it yesterday morning or this, or this morning? Um, I hope James hope to see James back in action as quickly as possible. 
Yeah, uh, I'll second that. I hope to see um, uh, James back as quick as possible. Uh, he was very unfortunate on Wednesday night, as was Mikey, who did his hamstring. So, Paul Muller looks like he's coming off the trim team, trimmer, mounting up injuries. Ground is getting hard, lots of games. Um, and Timmy Higgins, who's no bad replacement, be able to come on. Looks like he'll come as a straight swap there for Munners, maybe a wing forward. Munners looks like it's his hamstring or his knee. Um, so, Demi Higgins is going in centre half forward, and Mark Murray is coming out a wing or um, a wing forward for uh, Trim. So, kick out will come. Munners going off the field after um, there is five minutes played of the thir- second quarter. Uh, so. Peter with a sluggish one there goes nicely to uh, Mr. Reliability Kevin Nally who's foul, foul, foul. Kevin does very little wrong marks. Yeah, very steady, very steady indeed. Yeah, yeah, seven out of ten every week. Um, eight or nine some weeks, yeah. Uh, <laughs> patchy, <laughs> patchy on the ball, uh, punts a nice ball towards Decky Dowling who's a half forward for the first time in years, and it moves on there to Steady Eddie again, Kevin. Kevin back on to Patchy Quigley soccer style along the ground towards Dimmy Higgins Dimmy is very good on the ball Dimmy toe taps back there towards Kev Nally again Kev Nally towards Patrick Quigley Patrick Quigley there gives it to Dimmy is on the ball again Patchy Quigley on to Daryl Field and great run down the middle Fielder takes it through the tackle but Pat Clark very consistent says that he overcarried it did the same for Dunham Ashburn twice, so he was quite entitled to give that ball there to Daryl Field, uh, free against Daryl Field. So Dunham Ashburn with the ball out again, number uh, five um, on the ball again, who is David Carr, and gives it in there, but it's over um, Brian Bulger's head, and it's in there towards Danny Deary. Um, Danny Deary back to centre forward, there was a snapshot at it. But it's well taken by Peter Brennan. That was a snapshot from Luke Wilson at centre forward. Gives it off there towards Kieran Caulfield. Caulfield out towards Decky Dowling. Decky Dowling, toe taps, uh, still toe taps back there to Patchy Quigley. Lots of play around the middle of the field tonight. James Murray off to Daryl Phelan again. Philo drops the ball but repossesses it. Tackled by full forward. Um, Darrell is tackled, gets his free and plays the ball out there towards Decky who's an acre of space in front of him. The full forward should pop out again. Uh, out it comes here to Shawnee who's the beating of Aaron O'Sullivan or Aaron McLaughlin every time. Sean Foley still on the ball, re- recycles back to James Murray still around the middle of the field. Murray carries it through. Well through, a number tackled there by number nine, Kevin Cullen. Back towards Mark Murray, Mark on towards uh, Mikey Cole. Mikey goes at his marker again. Ball 21 yards out. Mikey Cole gives a nice ball towards Dimmy Higgins. Dimmy might find James Murray, which he does. James toe taps through the tackle. Can he score? Could be the scorer of the night. Great score by James. Great score by James. James is second. His uh, first from play. Well worked. That was the best score of the night, uh, Morris. Yeah, beautiful skill by James there. I think the centre-back might have to buy a ticket to come back in. But uh, you can definitely notice since the water break, the level of intensity from both teams has dropped off here. It's, It's... it's got a lot looser. Yeah, the body language is kind of um, a hot evening body language. In there towards James Crumnish, who looks impressive. It gives it in there towards corner forward. We just can't see who it is at the minute. Oh, a really well taken goal there. Smashing goal by Dunamore Ashburn. Uh, wing back, I think number seven. Uh, Luke Bennett scored that one. Um, to leave not much between the teams. Trim two four. Done a Marashburn one three. Very well taken goal there by the wing back seven. The two wing backs are quite impressive. The half back line for Done Ashburn is actually impressive. Peter Brennan looks for the kick out. Gives a long ball again towards uh, Dimmy Higgins, but it's really well won there by Dara O'Sullivan. Dara in there towards Sean Burke again. Burke onto full forward, who's out in the head of Brian Bulger. Uh, this is James Crumlish, who gives it in towards Danny Deary, but it's won there by David. Murta, David Slumpot fouled, advantage given, David carries it on through 50 yards, looks up again and he's looking for a man and he finds Mikey Cole, um, 21 yards out, oh Mikey gives a poor ball in, um, an arm, arm uh, McLaughlin comes out with the ball, chased by Shawnee, Shawnee Foley, um, arm McLaughlin still going, uh, long run there, um, 
goes out around the middle of the field here where number 11 Luke Wilson has it um, lads are getting plenty of space because boys are not able to keep up their man that's too long a ball in there towards the square and it's won nicely by Peter Brennan Peter has Kevin Nally free on, the, on his uh, left hand side and he finds him so Kev should kind of bring it out the field there's nobody near him uh, he finds James Murray who comes to pick it up off and finds Brian Bulger Brian takes it through number 9 is somewhat foul or oh, does he over carry Brian's still on the ball, Brian is fouled this time, so um, having lost it, he regained confidence and gathered the ball, and Dimmy Higgins is on the ball. Dimmy gives it in there towards Shawnee Foley, who's well ahead of his man every time, gives it back to Dimmy, Dimmy takes on number two, Aaron McLaughlin, um, gives it in towards Josh Harris, Josh tried to go by his man, there's a lot of ground football going on in there, Josh is somewhat, in, and he has a drop shot, <laughs> don't get away with that one at this kind of level, unfortunately you should gather the ball and make sure of it. So the ball coming out again, all a bit loose. Darrow Sullivan on the ball for Dunbar Ashburn. Darrow finds, or will look for centre forward, but didn't give it to him. Darrow's still going. Now he'll give it to centre forward. There's a full forward. It's full forward Rory McCann. McCann's a big big unit. Gives it in there towards Danny Deary. Danny ahead of David Murta. Danny inside there towards 12. Kevin Fenland. Kevin looking for number three. And finds it, number three uh, of the night. Three points for Kevin Fenland. So you can pick out the centre back wing yeah. back Fenland 12 looks to be the ch- scorer in chief absolutely yeah he's uh, he's shoot on sight he's three points so far uh, he looks very good because he's not touching the ball a whole lot in, in open play uh, he's staying close to goals again as, as you mentioned there a, a bit unconventional from, from Josh Harris there and, and Josh has gone out of the game a little bit uh, I think we need to go need to go back to what we were doing in the first quarter and get the ball in early to, to Josh Mikey and, and Shawnee um, you know, again, a lot, of, a lot of lads are very tired out there. This man seems to have cramp, and there's 28 minutes gone. I might be a bit harsh, but I don't think he should be getting cramp after 28 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit harsh, Morris. If I said that, you'd have me out the door. Uh, see Loman Dempsey watching there somewhere in the West. His second game of the championship to miss, and there's only been only two. He's one of the best um, remote managers in, in the world. Working from home. So uh, he's, he's taking working from home beyond the limits, isn't he, Morris? Anyway, uh, so kick out for Trim Peter Brennan. Uh, Brian Dowling was warming up for Trim. I don't know if he came on, but it's w- well won there by Decky Dowling, who's struggling a little bit with his leg. James Murray, who's very consistent for Trim in the middle of the field, scored two good points. Here comes James, gives a flat ball towards Decky Murray, it k- hits number five in the back of them. For fortuitous to get that ball. Here's Decky back towards Mikey Cole, who's very busy when he's when he's on it uh, James Murray towards who have we in there Josh Harris Josh to somewhat easy or goes around will he go for a score will he go for a point this time it's cross can we score we can Shawnee Foley square ball ref gives um, he was standing in the square no question uh, free out Josh nearly should put it over the bar there just keep the scoreboard ticking on a hot even like this so it's 2-4 to 1-4 to won't be much between these sides I'd say uh, out there to impressive wing back uh, Luke Bennett who scored a goal already Luke takes it uh, on by Decky Dowling gives it on there to the other chief scorer who's Kevin Fenlon Kevin fouled by well, he kept keep going uh, another injury for Trim um, uh, I'm not sure who that one is. Uh, let's have a look at that. Uh, it is Daryl Phelan. Daryl, who's also playing a lot of ball lately, he's just gone down. Um, any sort of a knock on an even like that, you'd be inclined to stay down for a little while, Morris. Yeah, yeah. Hard ground as well. The ankles and knees and all the joints, you pick up your injuries. Um, but as you were saying, like it's, it's a very heavy workload on a lot of these trim lads at the minute. Um, I don't think too many of these Ashburn lads were playing Fesh Cup the other night. Um, so that, that might tell in the second half. Um, but yeah, if we, if we, as you said, we kind of need a score. You know, I think James Murray was the last score there whenever that was, five or six minutes ago. And uh, would have been better off if Josh had uh, put that over. Again, I think Sean maybe could have been a little bit more aware of where the square was as well. Was, uh, yeah, looks like Daryl's under pressure here. And uh, I think Ashburn taking a bit of water on board, which is common sense even with COVID regulations yeah Darrell looks under pressure there I don't think he's going to be able to continue 
So Trim's second injury of the night, Daryl Feeling, I'd say it won't be the last. Daryl is going off, um, play resumes without the sub coming on. Um, and we're going to be bringing on well, with Brian Dowling and the Gooch, uh, a la Conor McKeown. In goes Danny Deary. Danny has a shot at goals and it's gone wide um, for Danny's um, first wide of the game and Dunhamore Ashburn's fourth. So um, Trimmer a bit all over the shop now at the minute. We, I think we're moving Kieran Caulfield to centre back where Daryl Phelan was. Uh, Conor McKeown is definitely definitely coming on and so is Brian Dowling for Decky Dowling so one Dowling replaces another one um, and I'll give you the switches now Mark Murray is going wing back where Kieran Caulfield was Kieran Caulfield centre back Gooch has gone in wing forward and Brian Dowling has gone in uh, corner forward and Josh Harris is going to be a half forward so lots of changes on this trim team big kick out from uh, James or Peter towards James brilliant catch for James Brian Dowling is free in the middle for his first touch Brian will know what to do here Brian carries it 21 yards out looking around him again for Dimmy Higgins Dimmy Breaks through the tackle, looks up, gives a little ball across towards Shawnee Foley. But uh, that's a good good uh, contest here between Aaron McLaughlin and Shawnee Foley. And Aaron McLaughlin kicks it out for a sideline for Trim. Foley is on the ball, pops the ball in there towards Dimmy in the centre. Uh, Dimmy gives it across the square where we're running in. This time Bino's on the first touch, first point. So... Um, first score for Brian Dowling after being on the field just about 30 seconds uh, and it's on his second possession he gets a point if he was a bit more predator like he could have taken a goal but we did say we should keep the t- scoreboard ticking Morris. we did indeed yeah and uh, Nobino has played a lot of games recently but I'd say when he saw the space the lads were getting in the first quarter he was probably licking his lips wanting to come on a good score so a bad kick out uh, goes direct uh, Shawnee needs to take it in his hand Shawnee's 30 yards out but he can score and he does score a great score. We can't be critical of a man that's scoring three points, but um, he should really take that one in his hands. Yeah, again, I, I had Sean for, for two years there as a minor. He done conventional, could frustrate the life out of you at times, but he does know where the goals are and, and he will score if, if he gets a chance. Absolutely. Just half time there, CJ. Okay, we'll just have a quick word before half time. The score at half time is Trim 2 6, Dunhamore Ashburn 1 4. I'd say the overall impression, even looking at the Trim lads walking off the field, is it's such a hot evening that um, unfortunately we have two injuries already and fitness will play a part in this game. We'll go have a quick word with John Andrews. Yeah, we'll just go into a half time break. This is a Red Sea, Red sea V production for Trim GAA.